on the last video. I'm going to hold out my hand. And how about going on a date with me? A romantic getaway in the announcement room. Yosuke kun. Alright, you're on. Hey, no fair. I wanted her. Whoa. Even if she only is going along with the joke, I asked her out and she said yes! Awesome! Yosuke, you are an embarrassment. And so we continue. Hey there guys, LOI Games, I'm back with some more Persona 4 Arena. Where we last left off, Yosuke asked Miss President out on a little quote unquote date. And now we shall continue onward. Very well. Finally, and I do mean finally, we stand in front of the announcement room. This president and I exchange a glance. Then I summon all of my courage and throw the door open. Ah, oh, we're finally here. I'm expecting to see a fake teddy, or should I say my shadow, in the room. What? Risa's the only one in here. Yosuke senpai! Hey Yosuke, what's up? Are you alright? Where's the shadow? You mean the fake Teddy? He hasn't come back at all. I sense this weird presence, but I don't know what it is. Hmm. Risei looks already looks around nervously. I look around too. I haven't been in the announcement room that often, but I can tell that this isn't anything like the real one. The room is huge with monitors everywhere. Not to mention a giant window taking up the entire wall with a crazy view outside. Yeah, this is crazy town, alright? But this... But what's this weird presence that Risa is talking about? <laughs> what are you freaking out about? This is your chance to save a pretty girl and become a hero, right Yosuke? Whoa, what the hell? Huh? That's... Yosuke-kun's voice. I slowly turn in the voice's direction. There was no one there a second ago, but now suddenly there is, and he has my face. His inhuman golden eyes narrow in a taunting way. <laughs> uh, looks like I was right. Hey there, Yoshi. Hey, what's up? How you been, bro? I haven't seen you since, well, I killed you. Yosuke Senpai Shadow? <clears throat> Man, this isn't getting any easier. But at least I can confront him without freaking out like I did last year. I thought you merged back with me. I'll come out anytime you start ignoring me. I'm always watching you. I am you after all. This is a shadow? Hmm. Yeah, that's right. You're me. You're the weakness in my heart. I admit it. Now get back here. <laughs> get back here. I blur it out before I have time to get a, to get second thoughts. This should do it. Then the shadow starts laughing instead. <laughs> Not bad, but that's exactly what I mean by ignoring. You haven't changed at all since then. You just cover up whatever you don't want to see and paper over it. That's why I've returned. I'm not your persona anymore. Yet, Yosuke still has it. Don't tell me! Hold on a sec. Does that mean... Forget logic, it's faster just to try. My nervous voice fills the announcement room. And that's it. My persona, Jiraiya, doesn't appear. Instead, the shadow begins laughing even harder. No way. So you really are. To be honest, I was still doubtful. I had hoped that I wasn't that it, he wasn't my shadow. I mean, of course I didn't want to believe this Grand Prix was for me, and that I wasn't having fun. Shadow's right. All I was doing was ignoring the problem. My fists clench, knees lock, and my entire body shakes. Is this because I was weak? Is that why everyone got dragged into it? Yep. <laughs> yep. Because I wanted a crisis to solve again. Because the case ended and I was bored? You got well, it. I'm sure, sure you understand sure. without me having to tell you. I couldn't save Saki Senpai. I didn't want to ever lose someone again. I still wished for this. I was proud that Inaba was peaceful. And I thought that I could finally be proud of putting Saki Senpai's death behind me. And yet, 
Was I really faking all of that? In the end, am I just a loser who puts his own boredom over the death of a loved one? Senpai! I can hear the quivering in Risei's voice. No, this isn't true. Don't look at me. This, this isn't me. It was all your desire. Trust me, I know. I am you after all. Yeah, we got that part. I can feel myself ready to fall to my knees. I can't use my persona anymore. I thought I had changed, but now I've literally lost everything. You are... I have to accept it. My mind knew what to do, but my heart still raged against it. Even before I knew what I was saying, the words were flying out of my mouth. Not. Oh, Senpai, look at me! I lift my eyes to look at Rise. There she was, with Miss President next to her. It was tough seeing the look on their faces. I was. L I look away quickly, but Rise scolds no me. No matter what weaknesses you might have, we'll never stop liking you. So please, don't deny who you are. Mm-hmm. Why'd you have to get in the way? Here, I finally got in touch with the others. Listen to them. I just like how that shot over that. My god, I was having my fun. Risa closes her eyes and folds her hands as if in a prayer. I see an elegant shape of her persona. I see the elegant shape of her persona appear behind her. At that instant, voices pour into my head. These are... There's nothing for you to be afraid of. I don't really get what's going on, but if it's gonna keep showing up, you just gotta beat the crap out of it every time. Sounds like Kanji. With all with you, Yosuke, you can rely on me too, you know. I'll think about that one. Anyone can fall prey to the same troubles and insecurities. It's not just you, Senpai. It's true for all of us. Now, is you gonna be coming up? Everyone. My vision suddenly clears. I hadn't even realized that I was squeezing my eyes shut. Naldo? How come you're here? That's, that's, well... I actually wonder that too. Who cares why? There's more important stuff at stake here! here. Just because you said steak. <laughs> and after Chie, the clearest voice of all. You won the battle against yourself back then, but you can't do it this time? Yosuke, believe in us. That sweet voice. <laughs> When I hear my partner's voice, I draw a ragged breath. I take deep breaths, not noticing until now just how much I had tensed up in the last few moments. Rise, the bringer of these voices, turned to me. From the smile on her face, I know that she was, ex that she was expecting me to feel better. Even though that she, was, that she has to be scared right now, she cares enough to smile for me when I'm feeling down. I... That's right. I finally realized the simplest truth. The biggest difference between the person I was last year and the person I am now. Now I have friends that accept me, even with, even when I doubt myself. Low oh, stealth, uh, steam, my goodness. I... <clears throat> How could I not believe in myself? How could I be too weak to stand up? All believing in me. I'm not alone. Not anymore. I'm such an idiot, aren't I? A grade A moron. Grade A dumbass. I raise my head and look straight at my shadow. Any traces of fear I had is completely I gone. I overcame my weakness and I was done with it for good. Dude, how naive was that, right? <laughs> what? I'm weak. I'll probably always be weak. That doesn't mean I need to run away. I'll keep fighting my weakness. And I'll do it as many times as it takes, even if that never stops. <clears throat> my heart was calm. I was conflicted just a moment ago, but now everything has, ma has been made clear. They believe in me. And knowing that, I feel their faith in me, pushing me forward. I can feel the power surging in me. The force filling my spirit, causing me to shout. Come, persona! Yes, I would like to place a bookmark. 
So it seems that we're gonna have somewhat of an interesting bat ah uh, interesting battle here. Let's go. Let's go, my dude. Get back. Arriva Derchi. Oh, I kept you in the air. Alright, let's save after that. <clears throat> That's a bookmark there. And let's continue onward. You did it, Senpai! That was awesome! It was okay, I guess. I let Risei's adultation wash over me. But there's something bugging me. Something that could be really bad for About me. About my conversation with my shadow. Did you? <laughs> I hijacked the school PA system. I knew it. Everyone has been backing me up because they'd been hearing everything I said leading up to it. You saw my shadow last time. <clears throat> now everyone got to listen in? Oh, so lame. That's not true. You were really cool, Senpai. <laughs> Thanks. That doesn't help him, I know. Ugh. This president looks like she's having trouble finding words for this. Damn, she's horrified by me. I can't blame her. She was left out of the picture. But, well, explaining it to her can wait. I need to do something about my shadow. When I turn around, my shadow isn't there. Where did he go? If he disappears, won't my persona... Wait. Something is not right. I used my persona during that fight. My persona's shadow, but my persona's my shadow, so if my, pers if my shadow left me, how could I have used my persona? As I'm struggling with that, Risei speaks up. Something's not right. Her voice is firm. Does she just think the same conundrum that I did? No, that's not all. There's an eerie presence all around. Even I feel it. Must be hitting Risei like a jolt of electricity. I can't let my guard down yeah. yet. Risei, Miss President, stay close to. Boom! Blackout. Right at that moment, the lights go out and darkness covers the room. <gasps> what the hell? <clears throat> Let's go now. I can't believe you've made it this far. They repeatedly suffered the pain of fighting their friends. But they still didn't lose heart. The lights come back on. When they do, the fake Teddy s is standing there. Why is it looking like that now? Wait, was it the one talking in that weird voice? Fake Teddy ignores me and looks at Miss President. No one can understand you after all. What a shame. You. And you work my shadow? I want to make people fight. I especially want friends to fight against each other. Then maybe they'll understand how I feel. That was your wish, wasn't it? What are you saying? What does it mean, that was my wish? And what's with that voice? Wait a minute. It's not talking to me. Then you mean... It was really her shadow! What? 
I can feel my brain cracking, cracking open like a dropped watermelon. That's Miss President's shadow? But it just said it was my shadow. That is kind of confusing, I will say. But now that I think about it, it's General Teddy has always been hostile to her ever since we met outside the school. That would explain Risei's voice on the PA system too. Well, duh. If a normal person's in here long enough, of course her shadow's gonna split away from her. I should have known that. After all, that's exactly what kept happening last year. This president just looks so healthy that it never occurred to me. This is just... As if to mock my astonishment, the shadow keeps talking in General Teddy's shape. <laughs> I did exactly what you wish. So, how did that work out for you? I... They still couldn't understand you. No one can really understand how we feel, can they? I... Come on! How much longer are you going to keep deceiving yourself? Didn't you hear them say you shouldn't ignore who you are? Here, I'll show you your reality. Reality. <clears throat> With that sound, the enemy finally shows its real form. Finally awakened, huh? That's... That's my face! But that's all that's... But that's all that's the same. Even though her shadow has the same face, her body is wrapped in metal. This president screams at what appears to be something from a sci-fi flick. Well, you must remember now! No, I'm not like that! No! Miss President, calm down! A shadow doesn't just take on your appearance. You look like a twisted version of you to agitate you even more. No! No! I tried calming her down, but my words aren't reaching her. She just keeps shaking her head in denial. What's going on here? Shadows are things that exemplary... that exemplify what their originals want to be. I've never heard of them transforming into other people. The shadow sees my confusion and smiles. It's an illusion. Huh? It's an illusion? Isn't that what you thought when you fought your friends? Your senses were being deceived. Warping what you saw. Twisting what you heard. That's how you made my senpai fight each other. Is that your power? Not just mine. It's actually our power. Isn't that sad? Me. R? What is she saying? No. I'm not like you. I'm human. Mr. President crouches down and says the, the words that are always bad. With that, the shadow smiles grow even more menacing, and it snaps its fingers again. At that moment, something like TV static flashes across my eyes. I rub my eyes. The static doesn't cover my entire field of vision, but slowly begins to focus around the, the president. And it clears. This president has changed. Metallic limbs stretch from her uniform. 
something metallic, like wings, unfurl from her back. There's no doubt about it. She's the same as the shadow of standing in front of us. She cries out and tries to cover her ears. But when she does, the sound of metal grinding against metal accompanies her movements. I see myself reflected in the shiny metal of her fingers. Robot! Cried the conundrum. Is that... So that means the shadow isn't some fancy... Isn't some fancy fantasy version. That's her true self? So Miss President was the one trying to look like a human? No! I'm... I'm human! <laughs> you still believe that about yourself? No human can do that. And you know it. The shadow points at me. And I'm at a loss for words. I look around... I look around, but in the end, my eyes meet hers. We both fall silent. In those few seconds, I can feel a deep rift growing between us. No, don't get me wrong. I was just a little surprised. I'm human! Wait, I'm sorry, I... Whoa! Suddenly, there's an explosion so loud, I think my eardrums are blown out. The smoke makes me cough and my eyes tear up. I manage to focus to, and see a hole in the wall. I can barely see through the smoke, but I can see the hallway on the other side. Eventually, the smoke clears, and a shape steps through the hole. What the? I didn't sense anything until now! Uh, well... Whoa! It was a girl! Blonde hair, blue crystal-like eyes. Basically naked. But there are metallic sounds as she walks. So this is where you were. Another robot girl? Jesus Christ, is this a robotic harem or something? It's another girl with a mechanical body, just like a, the shadow, and Miss President. She looks at the trembling president and you calls must out. must remember, that is the only way the future will open up to you. You must accept it, no matter how painful it may be. Your true name is fifth generation anti-shadow suppression weapon, Labrys. Labrys? Weapon? What? What is going on here? <sighs> to be continued, guys. Well, I guess we're gonna find out what's going on Welcome later. To the Velvet Room. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. Now then, why don't you introduce yourself? Well, I've been going on and on throughout these guys, so I think I might go... F I've done three Persona 4 guys, so how about I do... We only have really three Persona 3 guys. Is the power to control one's own heart. So I think I'll do that. And the heart is strengthened through bonds. As you form bonds by becoming involved with others, your own social links will gradually develop. The power of these social links is what will determine your persona's abilities. Thank you, Margaret. So yeah, I've done three Persona 4 guys, so how about we do three Persona 3 guys, since that's the only thing left. So I think I will do that next time. And this seems like a good place to stop, of course. Anyway, like and favorite if you enjoyed. Subscribe to become part of the archives and I'll see you all later. Peace.